Yeah, I just want to share a, a book I'm reading. It's called Saints and Other Powerful Women in the Church. It goes through chapters uh, covering uh, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Teresa of Lisieux, St. Catherine of Siena, Blessed Catherine Drexel, St. Clara Montefalco, St. Rita of Casca, St. Bernadette, Mother Angelica, St. Clara of Assisi, and Sister Brague Mikina. And uh, so far I've read uh, St. Catherine of Siena. Uh, I loved reading about her. She was a mystic, uh, peacemaker, uh, and uh, one of the my favorites that I read of her was when Christ uh, Jesus appeared to her in a vision and offered her two crowns, one of gold and one of thorns, and asked her to pick one for her life. And she chose the crown of thorns, and, and Jesus was very happy with her decision because the crown of, uh, of, of uh, gold is for eternal life. And she chose the uh, crown of thorns for this life. It was, life is short, temporary, and with a lot of suffering. But eternity is is no suffering and and beautiful, and uh, so she was she uh, she suffered in her life tremendously, but she she uh, she chose the crown of gold for the next life. And then we have uh, Saint Bernadette that I've read too, uh, another powerful woman. Uh, she was strong-willed, uh, ridiculed for her visions of Our Lady at Lourdes. And uh, even after the visions, uh, uh, she entered a, a monastery in uh, Nevers, France, and she uh, had a, a mother uh, uh, novice uh, superior, novice superior, and she was very, very hard on her, uh, tough on her, and strict with her, and always finding, trying to find faults in her. Uh, she didn't believe in her, uh, in her visions, so. So uh, she suffered tremendously. She died of, uh, uh, I think it's tuberculosis uh, at a young age, but uh, but uh, strong-willed and humble women, and uh, just a good book to to read of this uh, um, on these women. And thank you, and have a God, uh, beautiful day, and God bless.